Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a full in-depth review of the Buff Bunny Journey Collection. This is Buff Bunny Collection's first ever collaboration with an athlete. If you guys don't know Nancy, she's the athlete they worked with to inspire this collection. It's launching on Saturday, January 15th at 1 p.m. CST. Here are all of the times for you guys. And honestly, I am just like in such a good mood to be filming this collection because I just truly love Buff Bunny stuff so much. And there has not been a full launch since October of last year, which is probably one of the longest periods of time that they have not had a launch, which it's nice to have the break. I think every everyone's wallet appreciates that a little bit, but it was time for some new Buff Bunny gear. So I'm really excited. I think that Nancy and Buff Bunny did such a great job with this collection. I have to say, I was a little nervous when first seeing some of the pieces. I thought some of them were too bold. And I also saw so many performance fabrics and I don't necessarily dislike performance materials, but so many times when I have a performance liking, it's it just slips down on me. And I like my things to stay put during my workouts. But I know this is Nancy's collection, but some of these performance like leggings I feel like were exactly made to my body like they truly fit me like a glove which I've worn three whole outfits for a full workout so far has exceeded my expectations. Honestly, just little props to Nancy and the team for this collection because I'm just really excited about it. I also really feel like this collection has a little bit of something for everyone. There's such a wide variety of options from simple to bold, from performance to soft fabrics. So that's probably way more rambling than I needed to do. But if you are shopping the launch and you want to support me, my support code is Catherine. I appreciate when you use it. It helps me keep making these reviews for you guys. And whenever you use any of my codes, make sure to get your extra entries in my monthly giveaway. That is always on my website in the description below. So without further ado, let's start talking about things. So first of all, I want to go through all of the colors of the launch. And of course, I will always post my color comparisons on the screen. And if you see a color comparison, I put every possible Buff Bunny collection piece in a similar color that I have there. So first is Rio Blue, which is by far the most like bright, bold blue from Buff Bunny. And frankly, that I've ever seen. Such a beautiful color. There's Avo Green, which is kind of a blue undertoned green. I think this one's going to be really popular. Tula Teal, Post-It Pink, La Reina, which I think is just such a unique purple color. And I think that this might be my favorite color of the collection. It's just so unique. Salsa Red, which is just a true bright, bright red. There's Midnight Navy, which is the same Midnight Navy in the past. And one more color that I did not get is Bluebell. And that's only in the Nimbus fabrics. So for like the flowy tops. And they also have Quartz Prints, this collection. So so they have pink, purple, green, black, and navy quartz prints. And they are a true print. They're not like a tie dye. And in the past, a lot of the Buff Bunny prints have been printed on white, but these quartz prints are printed on just like the lightest color that you see on the actual pattern. So this one is the purple quartz print and the inside is still a light purple. So when you stretch it, you're not getting white show through. You're just getting a little more of the purple. And I think it's a lot less noticeable and just looks a little better when functioning. Now I'm going to insert all of the squat tests and I'll do each one with a pair of nude underwear and then a patterned pair of underwear. Okay, I've been slacking on cat appearances. So here's little Pins being cute as ever. And here's Peach looking kind of suspicious in here, Peach. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now to talk about the individual pieces. I did get most of the pieces. There are a handful that I didn't get, but I'll still talk about those from what I've seen from other people. And I also want to kind of separate the review by fabrics. So the first fabric that there is a lot of this collection is the Elysium fabric. Elysium is a 73% polyester, 27% spandex, and you've seen this fabric in the Limitless leggings. It's also the same fabric as the Rebel leggings, but the Rebel leggings had a slightly different texture to them, so these will feel a little different. Overall, Elysium is a medium to high compression, sleek performance material, so this kind of material is going to be good for like your high impact workouts and not attract pet fur. And I also feel like the Elysium fabrics feel a little different from prints to solids. The solids almost have more of a matte look and I feel like the prints are almost like a little bit shinier. Personally, I kind of prefer the solid Elysiums. So there's quite a bit in the Elysium fabrics. So first we have the impact leggings and I did get these in an extra small and a small. I haven't tried them on yet. I'm wearing these for my workout tomorrow, but these ones when comparing the waistband measurements to all of the other leggings in this collection in a size small, it does seem like they run 
one a little bigger, but they also do have a top band at the top. So this is one of two leggings today with this top band, which some people like the top band in performance leggings because it can help the leggings stay up a little better, but there's also risk of like muffin top and cutting in. These are the impact leggings. They have a 26 inch inseam. They are made of the Elysium fabric in the quartz prints. The waistband dips down a little bit in the front, which I find super flattering, no front seam, and just kind of a small extended crotch gusset and curved glute seams in the back. Another detail in the impact leggings is they have this laser cut back pocket detail in the back of the waistband. And I have these in an extra small in the purple and a small in the black, and we'll compare those. Okay, so here are the extra small leggings, and I really don't feel too compressed in these. They were a little bit of a challenge to get on, mostly around like the ankle part. I don't know, this like bottom area felt a little bit snug to me, but I don't feel too squished down anywhere here. I don't feel like my glutes are being squished. I like the dip down in the waistband, kind of gives a little more flattering look here, a little lower tummy control, no front seam. The gusset is not very visible, so it's not too far forward. It has good placement. I feel like even when you stretch your leg, you're not getting that same white show through that you did with some of the old prints. So I like that. Still, I don't think this quartz print is really like my favorite pattern, but I like it a little more than I thought I would. Super flattering glute seams. I think I saw that these are the same seams on the Rebel leggings. So I would give medium to high booty scale. They go above the glutes, curve around and just give a little flattering look here. These ones feel around a medium to high compression overall, but I still have lots of room for stretch. And then these do have the top band, which I feel like when I'm standing around, the top band is okay, but if you do lean to the side, it is going to cut in. And same with when I sit, it also definitely cuts in. So I think it will in any size, but I know the top band does help keep the leggings up. So you just have to decide if this top band is for you or not. Personally, I prefer the leggings without the top band. So let's try on the smalls. Okay, so here are the small leggings. I definitely did not struggle as much to get them up on the legs. Um, I feel like I may have a tiny bit of extra fabric here. I wouldn't call it a ton of gathering. So overall, I think you can stick true to size. Um, I definitely feel a little less compressed in the waistband region though. Like I have like a tiny bit of gaping. I'd say if you're really worried about this top band cutting in, stay true to size. But if you are someone who just wants a little extra compression, but have it still like, you know, fit you pretty well, maybe cut in a little bit at the top, I would size down. Personally, I think the extra small fits me a little bit better, just like up in this region, but I think it's pretty flexible. I'm just getting a tad less compression on these, maybe more of a medium, and they might slide down a little bit just because they're not like totally snug up here. To go with the impact leggings, there's also the impact sports bra that's also coming in the quartz prints made of the same sleek performance Elysium fabric. This one is a nice full coverage bra. I feel like Nancy really likes the full coverage bras because she also has a larger chest, which is great for me because I love full coverage bras. I really don't like feeling like I'm going to fall out throughout my workout. And I felt like all of the sports bras I tried this launch really just secure the girls. So this is no exception. This one also has a mesh panel detailing down the center. Here's the mesh panel detailing close up. It is like a little bit see-through. You can kind of see my nail color through. Removable cup pads and there's no true elastic. This is a long line sports bra. So there's no elastic at the bottom of this. There's just a little seam here and then some more mesh detailing in the back. All right, so here's the sports bra. Definitely very full coverage, high neck and no side boob either. But I feel like I could get a little like something you know here with the outline of the girls with the mesh. You can see through a little bit, but I'm far from having any sort of accident. It's a pretty thin strip of mesh. So I like this little mesh insert. Fits really well, definitely true to size, but if you're in between, I might size up just because I think that this does go a little bit close to the armpits and it does have like kind of like a little band at the end here, which I feel like might kind of cut into the armpits over time. So I think it'll be okay for a workout, but I can kind of tell like with long-term wear, I might get a little irritated by this being so close to the armpit and the muscles back here. Here's the back, cute little detailing and removable cut pads. I feel like they're not very visible, especially with all the pattern detailing and definitely good support on this one. I feel nice and compressed and covered. So definitely medium to high support.
Next, we have the Lit Laser Cut Leggings. These are also in the Elysium fabric. And even though these are in Elysium fabric and they don't have a top band or anything, I wore them for my workout today and they stay put the entire time. Like. I pulled them up less than some of my brushed leggings. I really feel like they really nailed like the sizing this launch because last year, like the step up leggings, I just felt like they ran maybe a little bit big to the point where mine kind of slid down, but these just really like snatch the waist without being too tight and stay up really well. So I was a big fan of these. It's also been a while since I've had a Buff Bunny laser cut legging, but I remember last time they had a raw cut edge on their laser cut. This one actually has a full true seam at the bottom of the leg, which personally I prefer. So no band at the top, no front seam, small little crotch gusset here. They also have curved glute seams and just some laser cut detailing going from around like the back towards the glutes down the side of the leg. And all of the Elysium fabric leggings are not brushed inside or outside. So all very sleek performance, minimal pet fur. All right, so here are the leggings in a size small. These honestly, like the waist and everything, fits me just as well as those Amore leggings. So I was a big fan of how these felt working out. Didn't have to pull them up. They stayed put really well, snatched the waist, no top band, so I didn't get any cutting in. The gusset on this one is also nicely placed. It's not too far forward. The laser cut detail goes from back here around the glutes to kind of do almost a little contour and then down the leg and it continues all the way down the calf. And these are single layered. So this laser cut detailing right here does show through to your skin. So I would definitely stick to a nude underwear if you are going to wear one so it doesn't show much. But honestly, the laser cut detailing is so small that you really can't see much through it anyway. About medium, medium high compression and is still medium to high on the booty scale with the curved glute seams. Just very flattering, maybe a little cellulite coverage and definitely good for your high performance workouts. To go with those leggings is the Lit Laser Cut Sports Bra. So this is also made of Elysium fabric. They sent me a small and a medium. I wore the small to the gym today and I felt like it fit me pretty well. Definitely a little bit snug, but I like to be nice and compressed in my sports bras. So this bra also has the laser cut detailing, but since it's going kind of over this area of the bust, the bra is actually lined with a tan color. So when you're seeing the laser cut, it's actually just laser cut to the tan lining, not to your skin like the leggings. So here you can see the tan detailing. I'm putting my fingers behind and you can see it is actually the lining and not seeing through to your skin. So depending on your skin tone, I feel like you might be able to see this through, but I don't think it's super noticeable. The pattern's really cute in the front. Then it goes to a racer back with a little more laser cut detailing, a metal detail, and it does have a clasp back, but they also included the bra extenders. If you have kind of like a wider rib cage, they have that here. Personally, I don't need them, so I don't use those. All right, here's the bra in a small. I do like the way the small fits me best. You have a high neck, a little scoop around, around the armpits. Um, this one I find doesn't like cut into my armpits as much as some of the other ones. I have a little bit of scoop away, but also potentially a little, little bit of side boob, but I'm definitely not gonna fall out of it. Still really good coverage, I'd say medium to high coverage. Still really good support, medium to high. Again, this laser cut detailing is showing through to a beige little under layer. So this isn't actually my skin you're seeing. And here's the back, got some laser cut detail here, strappiness, and I have it on the medium hook right now. I could probably loosen it up one. Um, I just hate doing the hooks behind my back. I like can never see what I'm doing. And it's just challenging. It's something I don't love to do. So I don't love clasp back bras. I just find it's an extra step that makes my life a little bit harder, but it is easier to get them off. Okay, so I'm wearing the medium here. For the medium, I had to clasp it on the tightest clasp and I feel like I get a little bit of looseness around here. So I would still say true to size for this bra, especially because it includes the expander. I think even if it happens to be a tiny bit too small for you, you still have that expander. So true to size, if in between I actually might size down, but you could go either way. I can still wear the medium, but I don't love the extra fabric here. There's also the Lit Laser Cut Jacket, so a full length jacket in the same Elysium fabric with a bunch of laser cut details. This is just a one layer jacket, so you do see the laser cut details through to your skin or whatever you're wearing underneath them. Full length sleeves with thumb holes, a hood with drawstrings. It kind of reminds me of the Jazzercise jacket from the Let's Get Toned launch. And the side pockets actually have zippers. Okay, so here's the laser cut jacket. It is a 
full length jacket goes even a little bit over my hips down here. And it's definitely like more snug up here and I have a little bit of space down this area. Maybe my hips just don't quite fill it out as much as some people, but um, this is something that has happened to some Buff Bunny jackets before. And I definitely prefer to stick with a small for this reason because I have sized up to a medium and then it's like huge down here. So I don't think that it's too tight up here that I can't fully zip it. So in general, I do say true to size for the jackets. Full zip up here and the laser cut detailing in the front and the back does show through to whatever you're wearing underneath it or to your skin. So it's just one layer. A little Buff Bunny detail on the zipper. The only thing I would add to Buff Bunny jackets is to include the cuffins, which are what I call hand pockets. You like kind of like fold them over and then cover your hands when you walk because I hate when my fingers get cold. So I'd love to see that at some point because that's like one of my favorite features of athletic jackets. Here it is zipped off, just kind of a classic jacket shape. And I love that the side pockets are actually zipper pockets because I don't like to put things in pockets unless they have a zipper because they don't feel secure without it. Next, we have the Amore leggings, which are another legging in the Elysium fabric. So it is that solid, sleek performance material. So these are a 26 inch inseam, and this is the salsa red color, which I compared it to the old Buff Bunny salsa color. It was exactly the same. I think any difference that came across in my color comparison photo is because these are a performance material and my old salsa leggings were Nubri fabric. So sometimes there's like slight color differences within different fabrics. So these have no top band, so they're not gonna cut into you. High rise, no front seam, small little gusset here. They do have a seam down the side, but they're pretty plain overall, except you have a little detailing in the back. Back is this kind of lace up detailing and it's made of an elastic. So it actually does stretch with you and leggings and you don't actually have to tie it yourself. So when you lay down on this, it doesn't like irritate your back or anything and if they still have the curved glute seams, so they're very flattering. Okay, so here are the leggings, and I was really worried when I was first wearing these to the gym that they were going to slide down on me because, I don't know, sometimes with these sleek fabrics, there was no brushed inside lining that I just really thought they were gonna slide down. I just don't trust sleek performance fabrics a lot because to be honest, like so many of them slide down for me and that's the real reason I don't love them. But these like, were like glued to my body. They literally fit me like a glove. Like I'm not too compressed anywhere. I don't have any extra fabric anywhere, but the waist is just totally snatched, but there's no top band. So it's not gonna like cut into me. And just because of the way these are fitting me and the snatching of the waist, they did not budge my entire workout. Like they weren't sliding down at all. I don't think I had to pull them up at all. These might actually be the best, most functional performance leggings I have tried in a while. You guys often ask me about performance leggings and like, I just don't have a lot of recommendations because they all have some kind of issue for me. These, I really had no issues with. So Buff Bunny team, I would love to see these with just like no detail in the back, just like plain, just like a classic performance legging because these were just incredible. And they're also so stretchy, the perfect like medium amount of compression. The gusset is also perfectly placed for these. Like you can't see it from the front, but it is there. The glute seams are really flattering, definitely medium to high on the booty scale. And then they have this cute little lace up detailing. And I like that this doesn't have ties like the bra. It's just like little elastic here. But again, I would love to just see a plain version of the leggings because I felt like these were so nice. In terms of cellulite, I think the Elysium fabrics are a little bit better than the nylon spandex. They just have a little more thickness and compression to them. I wouldn't say these are entirely cellulite friendly though, but you are gonna get a good amount of hold. I wore these all day throughout the house. It didn't get any pet fur on them. And the Elysium fabric is definitely the most durable of the performance materials today. So in terms of sizing, true to size, if you're in between, it actually might even size down just because these are so stretchy, but you probably could go either way if you're nervous about too much compression, but I'm really only getting like a medium. And then they have the seam down the leg here. Big fan of these. I feel like I finally found a performance legging that I don't have to pull up all the time, which is huge. To go with those leggings, we have the Amore sports bra. This is a really nice full coverage bra. I like the like semi square neckline here, removable cut pads, also pretty full coverage in the back, just a little cutout. And then it has this lacing detail up the front, but this is like a true like 
shoelace, if you will, unlike the elastic lace up of the leggings. So you can actually like tighten this a bit and you are left with like an actual tied knot at the top, but you can never fully unlace this sports bra. This part is like sewn together. So you can't actually like unlace the whole thing. It's just a decorative lacing, but you still can actually like mess with the lacing if that makes sense. All right, so here's the Amore sports bra. Another full coverage. I love it. Really good side boob coverage, good coverage on the top as well. I wore this for a whole workout and didn't feel like I needed to adjust anything. I also feel like I have a good amount of like just compression here and the support overall is definitely medium or medium to high. The neckline is also kind of a little bit squared here. Um, I felt like it did get a little close to my armpits. I ended up wearing this for a workout and then just kind of like wore it throughout the day because I was just kind of like running around doing some things. And by the end of the day, I did definitely have a little bit of irritation along the armpit here. Didn't happen until like after like two to three hours. So I feel like if you just have like one workout, it's not gonna be a problem. But if that's like a sensitive area for you, just keep in mind it might cut in. I think overall I would stick true to size, but if you're in between because of that cutting in, I would size up. And I'm not totally sure I'm like sold on the tie detailing here. I think mostly because I don't like these little guys kind of hanging out. I think I'm decent at tying bows, but I just didn't feel like this was a perfect look for me. And I tried to tuck it in, which I felt like might be a little cuter if you just have the lace up without the tie. But throughout my workout, like pieces of the um, little strings here did start falling out. I do actually like the lace up, but just not like the top part, which is kind of nitpicking, but still. And the back is pretty plain, pretty full coverage, almost like a crop top, but not too long. And next we have a couple more performance leggings, but they're not made of the Elysium fabric. They're made of a slightly different 75% nylon, 25% Lycra. These are the meta leggings. They just really worked for me and fit really well, but also the back detail. I feel like this is the perfect amount of quartz print if you weren't like quite into the full impact leggings, which I feel like is a lot of the quartz print. This is just a little subtle detail with the kind of style of the legacy leggings. And we all know I love the legacy leggings. Here's the detailing up close, just a couple little inserts of the quartz print. It's not on the front, it's just on the back. They're a high rise, no band at the top, no front seam, small little gusset here, and a 26 inch inseam. I think all of the leggings this launch are 26 inches. And these are a sleek material on the outside, but they are brushed on the inside. And I feel like brushed leggings in general stay up a little better. So I feel like the brush on the inside kind of makes them so they're not quite as slippery as the Elysium fabrics. Here is the inside, just very slightly brushed. And here's the outside. It's still a sleek performance material but I think it's a little less shiny than the Elysium's. All right, so here are the leggings. They're actually made of the same material as the Loch Ness leggings from the Mad Scientist launch. So not the first Loch Ness leggings, but the second ones, kind of like a softer, thinner, sleek performance material. It's not as like intense and compressive and like sturdy of a sleek material as the Elysium fabric, but I find it to have more of a naked feel, more of a, like a light compression and just be a little softer if you don't like to be totally compressed. These are almost identical in shape to the Legacy leggings. They're just a more sleek material. So they're going to be a lot better for like pet fur and lint than the Legacy leggings. The back of these I also think has just like the perfect amount of the quartz print and it still sits above the glutes and I'd still give them like medium to high on the booty scale. Maybe a little less cellulite coverage than the actual Legacy leggings because they're a little bit thinner in this material. And these leggings were like almost perfect for me. I love the high rise, no top band or anything, but I did feel like the gusset sits a little more further forward than any of the other ones in this collection. You guys know I don't like when a gusset sits too far forward because I just feel like it's like so visible and kind of draws attention. It's not as far forward as the Latitude leggings from the Newbury collection. Those I like, honestly, I don't even wear those because I felt like the crotch gusset sat too far forward. This one isn't quite as bad, but definitely is a little bit noticeable. So I wish it was just a little more pushed back. But overall, super soft, comfy, and a good alternative to the Legacy Leggings if you wanted to try a little bit of the quartz print.
Then we have the Meta Sports Bra made of the same nylon lycra blend. And this is full quartz print, but it pairs perfectly with the Meta leggings. And it's a really nice full coverage in the front. Long line, removable cup pads. Then you have this really nice open back and it ties so you can do like a cute little bow in the back. And I wore this to the gym and like posted like a TikTok or Instagram reel. And I got a lot of people saying like, oh, well, you know, you can't, you couldn't wear this on bench day. It's like, okay, then don't wear it on bench day. You know, I feel like a lot of people were trying to create problems with this bow when the solution is just really simple. Like don't wear it on a day that you'd be lying down on a bench because it's gonna get in the way of that. I wore mine on a pull day where I know I'm not gonna be sitting against any bench, whether it be for shoulders or for chest press. And the bow did not get in the way at all for me. And I actually didn't even do a double knot and it stayed the whole time. So if you're worried about the functionality of this one, it might be one to skip, but for me, it actually really didn't cause any problems. Okay, I don't know if you can see this but i am getting just like a little bit of fuzziness slash like i don't know damage to this fabric i feel like the nylon lycra is a little softer than the elysium but i think the elysium is just a little more durable than this one like if you guys remember last year the buff bunny spin leggings i really loved the spin leggings one time i washed them with something that I think kind of caught onto the leggings. I did get some damage to them. I like, I wouldn't really call it pilling, but you know what I mean? Like just something kind of attached itself to the leggings and kind of like scratched it up a little bit. I think the Meta and Journey leggings made of the nylon lycra fabric is not gonna be quite as durable as the Elysium. So if you want something super, super high performance that you don't have to be like careful about at the gym, like if you get Velcro on these, it's gonna cause damage, so just a heads up, which is kind of a bummer because I liked this fabric. So I wanted to just show how I get this sports bra on. So there's nothing actually connecting the back except for the straps that you can tie. So I put it on and make sure the band is situated under the girls. And I was able to do this myself, but I just tied it in one knot and made sure it was nice and snug. A nice thing about this is that you can adjust the bottom band to your own sizing. So I feel like the sizing in this bra is pretty flexible in general because you are tightening the bottom band to your own size. And then I just tied a little knot and ta-da. If you're worried about it coming undone, you can definitely do a double knot before you do a bow. I didn't feel like I really needed it and this does stay in place as is. If you're in between sizes on this one, I probably would choose the larger size just because you do get to tighten it in the back like that, but I wouldn't size up too much because you may eventually get some gaping in this area. It's not something that bothered me, but just kind of told me like, okay, if you size up too much, you will get a little bit of gaping. Really nice full coverage, long line. I think the pink quartz print is definitely my favorite. Something about the pink just really won me over this time really speaking to me. Nice high neck, goes around the armpits. This one goes a little bit close to my armpits too, but again, because of the slightly softer material, it wasn't cutting into me. But again, size up if in between. It's all medium to high support still. It's still pretty good. We got the full coverage, a little compression. The back of this whole set together is so pretty. The quartz print almost looks kind of like a pink sunset clouds to me. And I just think the bow is so cute. You definitely have to pick which gym day you're wearing it on, so you don't pick a day where you wanna be on a bench the whole time, but it really didn't get in the way other than that. I really didn't notice the bow at all when I was doing a pull day because I wasn't trying to be against a bench and it's not like these strings were so long that I like got caught on any equipment or anything. Someone also suggested tying it in the front. If you ended up wearing this on like a push day or something, you could just wrap it around the back like this and tie it in the front. I don't think it looks quite as good. It's an option and I still think it looks like intentional. It doesn't look like an accident, so. A pair of leggings I did not get are the Journey leggings, and those have a really interesting like color block detail. Definitely the other like really bold legging of the collection. Those are the only other pair with a top waistband seam. So those also will have that little band at the top that might help the leggings sit up a little better because they are the sleek Elysium fabric, but again, it might cut into you too. These also have side pockets and some of the colors are just solid color block and others have a little bit of the quartz print into it. Again, I did not get those, but I kind of assume the side to be similar to the impact leggings. I did get the Journey sports bra, which is just a color blocked sports bra. I feel like this one would be really cute with just like a solid pair of black or gray leggings. So the bra is a 75% nylon, 25% lycra, and the front does have cut pads and like a little contour detailing. I feel like this also could be reversible and wear it like this as well, but I don't know. I feel like I've seen people try to like reverse their sports bras a lot lately and the front may look okay, but then you have this detail in the back, which I feel like obviously kind of looks like it's backwards. We'll 
will try it on just for fun though. And this is also another long line sports bra with no harsh elastics. Here's the bra, definitely another successful bra with good coverage. I like kind of the curved shapes going on here, but it also still has this square neckline, which I think is cute. I like the black color block. I feel like it's not too much and you could definitely wear this with a more solid bottom if you weren't into like the full color block bottoms as well. I would say I have full coverage in this. I don't have any side boob and I'm definitely not gonna fall out of the top. Maybe medium to full coverage just cause there might be like a tiny bit of cleavage showing, but there's no way I'm falling out of this bra. And it also has pretty good support. I would give this medium, medium to high depending on your cup size. And some of the other bras I felt went a little close to the armpit and I felt like it may cut in, but because this fabric is just a little bit softer than the Elysium, I don't think it's gonna cut in to the armpit area as much. So I definitely feel like this performance material is just a little more soft. And here's the back. I like the little layered cross detailing and these straps don't cross over or anything, but they really don't feel like they're going to fall down. They feel pretty sturdy on my shoulders and I don't expect that I'd be pulling them up a lot. So yeah, let me just quickly try this one on reverse and see if that works at all. I think it kind of works reverse. Like I like the look of this bra if it was like made like this, but keep in mind if you're gonna reverse a sports bra, there won't be a place for cut pads. So I can't put any pads here. It's also like maybe just a tad bit wide for me, but I think it's a cute design and I definitely think you could do it. I would definitely remove the cut pads from the back though, which I didn't. I don't know, I couldn't say that it's too obvious if you tried to reverse it. Okay, the next fabric is the ribbed material. So I did not get any of the ribbed material. The last time that Buff Bunny had this was the Material Girl ribbed leggings and that whole collection. And I wanna say that was also the Let's Get Toned launch, but I really just didn't love them. I felt like everything kind of ran a little big, but even when it wasn't super baggy, it just slid down really easily. So I just really wasn't a fan of the ribbed material. I didn't find it like super functional. And even just for wearing around, it just kind of slid down too much on me. And I have heard some other people say that still about the new Material Girl stuff. So I definitely don't think it's very gym. It still could be worn for lifestyle, but Personally, I just don't really love ribbed materials all that much. So I'm not really mad that I didn't get any of it. One thing I did think was really cute though is the Crossroads ribbed top because it's a cropped tank with a built-in bra in it. And I love built-in bra tops. I think they just make things so easy. So I thought that was super cute and does have that built-in bra. And then the only shorts of the collection are the Crossroads ribbed bike shorts. Those are a nine inch short made of the ribbed material. And then the Material Girl ribbed leggings are back and I have those from the past, but they now have no front seam. But again, I just found that they slid down a little bit. And I also found they ran like just like a little bit big. So I also think that you would size down in these ones based off what I've heard. Okay, now onto the next fabric, which is the Nubri fabric. So up to this point, we've only been doing performance materials, but if you are like a brushed soft legging person, they do still have quite a few pieces they're bringing back in the Nubri fabric. Nubri is a 74% nylon, 26% spandex, and it's double brushed. So what brushed means is it just has that little like fuzzy feel to your hand. So it's brushed on the inside and the outside of the leggings. Here's what the Nubri fabric looks like close up, just slightly brushed and it's like that on the inside as well. Super stretchy, soft fabric. It's my personal favorite from Buff Bunny. It does collect like pet fur and lint though. So just be careful. Even though it's brushed and soft, I find that it's actually still pretty durable. I haven't had any of mine get damaged even by things like rubbing over them or pilling or anything. So the first Nubri fabric piece is the Revolution Tank, which I am super excited excited about. This is only their second full length built-in bra tank that they've had. They had the foundation tank in the Nubri collection. And this one I feel like is even better because it's the revolution bra shape, like the square neckline and the cute strappy back detail, but it's in a full length tank. And I really do feel like Buff Bunny always tries to make pieces that truly work for everyone in their collection. Like a lot of brands don't really pay a lot of attention to full length tops when I know I like to wear a sports bra or a crop top to the gym, but I know that probably I'd say even more people don't like to do that and they like to have a full length tops. In Buff Bunny, they don't just like throw in a random full length top that's not even cute. This is truly like a really cute top and it's totally full length and it's gonna give you full coverage. So I think this is awesome. So I'm a huge fan of the top and this Lorena color is just so gorgeous. So it's a newbie fabric, super soft and they do have a full inner lining. So they have that full lining with an elastic removable cup pads, essentially just a bra built in to the top. So let's try it on. All right, here's the Revolution tank. I think I actually like this even more than the foundation tank, but the fit is very similar. So if you tried that tank in the past, 
I would get the same size in the Revolution tank. I love the square neckline. It goes really far into the armpit area, so you're not gonna get any side boob, but it's also really soft, so it's not going to cut in there. And I think this is just a really unique neckline for this kind of long top. It goes really long, goes over my hips, and then you still get that really nice strappy detail in the back. For the most part, I would stick to the same size as your sports bra, because I really feel like this is going to be the limiting factor in the sizing. You don't want this too tight or too loose or else you won't get any support. But for me, much like the foundation tank, I feel like I'm not quite getting as snug of a fit as I would want because it is supposed to be like a sleek body contour fit. I think I would prefer the extra small actually. And I don't think it would be too tight up here. The Newbury fabric is so stretchy that I think it would be okay. So for the most part, I would say stick to your normal bra size. But if you feel like you might have a little extra fabric here, like me, I would consider a size down. And in terms of support, solid medium support. They're also bringing back the Monarch sports bra. I'm gonna be trying it on here in a color that's not launching. And if I'm being honest, I feel like they made some changes to the Monarch bra in recent collections, including kind of raising the coverage of this area, but they kind of brought the straps in in a way that I feel like doesn't flatter me super well. And I think that they've stuck with those changes because it looks the same in the photos. But if you guys have tried the recent Monarch bras, comment down below if you like them more now or more in the past, because in the past, I feel like they gave a lot more side boob coverage they were a lot like wider there and I find I don't reach for mine quite as much now that they've made those changes but it's still a really beautiful sports bra I love the back detailing and it's really cute in the front I'd say it's like a low to medium coverage and a light to medium support so definitely not your most like high impact bra and the straps do go up and down and I find they stay put pretty well throughout your workout but they do have the possibility of sliding off your shoulders okay then we have the legacy leggings and if this is your first time buying from buff bunny collection and you like soft leggings my top choice is the Legacy Leggings. I love these so much. They're so comfortable, functional, and they just have this really cute little detailing in the back that I just think adds a little bit. So these are true to size. I wear a size small, no band at the top, no front seam, small little crotch gusset, and they're also flattering on the glutes without being a super pronounced glute contour. They just have those little like butterfly seams in the back that kind of slightly curve around the glutes. These are usually about a medium compression on me. They will attract some pet fur because of the fabric, but they're just a classic Buff Bunny legging, and if you haven't tried them yet, you gotta try them. The Rosa Sports Bra is also coming back. That is one of my all-time favorite bras. It has great coverage, great support, and you just stay secure throughout your whole workout. Like, I'm never worried about falling out of anything. I'd give it, like, a medium to full coverage and a medium support, maybe a medium to high impact, depending on your cup size. It's long line. I would also say true to size and has, like, a little strappy back detail. And if you're someone who needs pockets on your leggings and you like a soft brushed legging. They also have the Rosa pocket leggings that are back. These are also made of the Newbury fabric, super brushed and soft no band at the top. They have just like these slightly curved seams in the back that are still really flattering on the glutes and they have two side pockets that still fit a lot in them. Slightly dipped down in the front, no front seam and they're just a classic legging, pretty similar to the Legacy leggings, like medium compression, flattering on the glutes. I find the Newbury fabric is like a little bit warmer than some of the performance fabrics, so keep you a little bit warm and I can just never have too many Newbury leggings to be honest. Okay, so that's kind of it for the like gym wear pieces. Now we have some tops and lifestyle pieces. So first we have the Katie crop. So this is Midnight Navy and I think that this is the Rio Blue. And this is a size small so it's definitely an oversized fit. So just like an oversized crop top. Has a little drawstring cord at the bottom. It's made of a cotton spandex kind of like French terry material so it's not brushed on the inside which I prefer my stuff to be brushed on the inside but it is pretty soft on the outside. Here is a close-up. Hopefully you can see kind of terry like not super brushed on the inside but it is a little bit brushed on the outside so it will collect like a little bit of lint and fur because of that kind of a slightly wider crew neck opening here and little metal logo on the back all right so here's the crop I wish it was made of the same material as the throwback hoodie just because I find that one a little softer on the inside but this one's definitely more lightweight if you don't want something super heavy so I thought this was the Rio blue but clearly it doesn't completely match the Rio Blue legacy leggings down here. So keep that in mind. I still think it goes. It's all kind of in the same like blue family, but not an exact match. There's almost, I think this is kind of like a little rose gold drawstring right here. So you can tighten this up to be more of like a little cinched crop, which I think is cute. I like this little cinched crop look. And for the most part, I think this goes 
to the top of your legging waistband. If anything, it'll be even longer on you because I have a really long torso, but when you raise your arms, you will definitely get a little bit of skin showing. Sleeve length is good for me. The material on the outside is soft and here is the back. In terms of sizing, I would stay true to size because even in this size small, I think I have kind of like an oversized boxy fit, so definitely no need to size up. There's also the Tahine tank, which I'm so bummed I didn't get this one. I might have to buy it myself because it's made of the Nimbus fabric, which I absolutely love that fabric for like Buff Bunny tops. It's just so lightweight, flowy, and soft. So this one, the colors are a little bit different, I think just because they couldn't quite match the colors from the other fabrics to the Nimbus fabric. But this top looks so cute. It's like a full length tank that has like the super cute little bow tie detailing in the back. So again, don't wear this on your, you know, your push days if you're gonna be against a bench because there is that little tie in the back, but you can adjust that. And I just thought this top looked super cute. Another great full length tank if you like to cover up. There's also the throwback hoodie. So when I first ordered this one, I thought it was going to be this Lorena color with a light purple detailing. I didn't know it was going to be the quartz print. And to be honest, I feel like this is a little much for me with the quartz print. I like the other color combos a lot better because they're actually just like solid color blocking. And I think like the navy and red one is like super cute and super like 90s, which I feel like a lot of this collection has like little 90s influences. So this is made of a cotton spandex. It's kind of just a classic sweatshirt material, but it does have a little stretch to it. Sometimes Buff Bunny sweatshirts don't have stretch to it, but this one does, which I love. And the inside of this one is a fleece lining. So it has that soft fleece. I love the soft fleece. Here's the inside. You can see the nice soft fleece. And here is the rest of it. Just kind of a classic sweatshirt material and the quartz print. So let's try this one on. Definitely an oversized fit and like semi-cropped. All right, so here is the throwback hoodie. And I really like the length of this one because it's not quite a full length hoodie that's gonna go like way over your butt and everything. And I just feel like that can get a little bit much for a sweatsuit sometimes, but this one kind of ends right at the top of the joggers. May show a little skin when you raise up your arms, but for the most part you can, you know, exist and you know you're still gonna be covered by it. So I love this kind of like semi-cropped length. I also like how high the pocket comes up. I think it's unique, like it goes all the way up to like the girls up here. So a lot of space. The pocket is also lined with fuzzy fleece. It's super warm, got a little stretch to it. Does have drawstrings for the hood. It also has cuffs here and that same kind of cuff material along the bottom. My only thing is that I just feel like for this purple one, I really wish it was solid colors. I didn't know when it was coming that it was not going to be like a solid purple. I just think it's a little much just for me. I kind of liked the solid color block not the print, but also I am kind of more on the plain side of activewear things. I like like a touch of print sometimes, but not too much. So overall, I like the hoodie. I just maybe would have chosen a different color, but I love that it has stretch to it and it has the fleece lining, which is kind of hard to find sometimes. And the last piece is the throwback jogger. So these go with that throwback hoodie. And I was really excited about these. I, I'll talk about the sizing more when we put them on. They're made of a really soft cotton spandex. So they do have a little stretch to them, but they still kind of feel like a sweatpant. And these remind me a lot of the Alphalete Identity Cargos. So I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I definitely feel like the Identity Cargos, the sizing is more of a snug fit and you do have a couple more pockets. But the material overall is pretty similar. So here's the inside. It is a brushed fleece. It feels a little thinner than the throwback hoodie. And the outside is still like a cotton spandex material, but it is a little bit brushed. And these have two front pockets, two cargo pockets on the side that have little snaps. These are slightly longer than the leggings, a 27 inch inseam. The rise on these was also much higher than the leggings. Most of the leggings were like a nine to 10 inch rise. The rise on this one is 12 inches. And the waistband on a size small. So this is a size small same as the leggings. Most of the small waistbands were around 10 inches laid flat and the small on this one is 14 inches and it was, I felt like I was swimming in it. And I can do like an oversized jogger. I just felt like the waist was too big. So I really feel like you need to size down in these. And the drawstring is also on the inside. Okay, so here are the throwback joggers and this is a size small and I have like 
so much space for them. So I think they run like really big. I've definitely sized down one size because I just need them to be a little more snug in the waist and I'm okay with a more relaxed fit, but it almost gets kind of like saggy crotch here because they won't stay up enough because they're so big. So definitely size down in the throwback joggers. I still think that they won't be skin tight, but they'll just be a better fit. And they have the drawstring on the inside, which I don't love when people do drawstrings on the inside. So you could tie the drawstring here and then you have to tuck the drawstring in and sometimes you just get a little extra like bulk there. And I actually like the look of a drawstring on the outside. I think it can actually be cute. So I don't love it on the inside, but I like that they still have the drawstring. Two front pockets here and the only cargo pockets are on the side here. They are real pockets and they have a little snap closure, which I think is better than the Alpha Leaf Velcro closure. I like the little snaps. Pretty solid length on me and they have little cuffs at the bottom. Very soft material, little Buff Bunny logo over here. And they don't have any pockets on the butt here. The Alpha Elite ones do have little pockets. So these are a little more simple, a little less in your face cargo-y, but you still have the side pockets. And I actually think they're pretty cute overall. It's just really like a sizing thing for me. But this material is so nice. It's super soft, but it still has stretch to it. So it's kind of like a hybrid sweatpant jogger for me. And lastly, there's the Transcend T. It's made of the Nimbus fabric, so really lightweight and slightly soft, but it's in the quartz prints, and this is just like a super oversized T. I don't think you need to size up in these. They come already super boxy oversized, like a pump cover vibe. And I watched some of the like design videos that they posted on the Buff Bunny Collection YouTube, and I thought I saw Game Changer backpacks, but I don't think they ended up doing those. They do just have a Game Changer essential zip, which is kind of like a little makeup bag. Okay guys, that is it for everything launching in the journey collection as a reminder this is launching on saturday january 15th at 1 p.m cst and if this video helped you out and you are shopping the launch feel free to use code katherine it does support me give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far and you like these in-depth reviews and leave your comments down below what are your thoughts on this collection i feel like i've heard a lot of mixed things but i really do feel like they did a really good job of balancing different materials different levels of like boldness of the pieces and i really feel like there's a little something for for everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!